Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers in today's May 17th, 2024. And before we jump into things here, as per usual, I want to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield discount code as well as the TCG Player affiliate link. And any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our losers list off here today with Atawara Soaring City from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. This legendary land is down 6.36% from $20.60 to $19.29 for its market price, and its average price is $21.17. Next up is Shielder the Apocalypse from Dominaria United. This mythic is down 6.48% from $64.70 to $60.51 for its market price, and its average price is $80. Urza Saga from Modern Horizons 2. This land is down 6.68% from $35.80 to $33.41 for its market price, and its average price is $39. Lotus Ring, and this is the showcase version of the card from Outlaws of Thunder Junction, the big score. Down 6.82% today from $15.68 to $14.61 for its market price, and its average price is $15.68. City in a Bottle from Arabian Nights. This reserveless card is down 7.21% from $422.47 to $392 for its market price, and its average price is $384.61. Hellkite Corsair from Commander Legends. This card is down 8.60% from $15.46 to $14.13 for its market price, and its average price is $14.92. Extravagant Replication from Commander Streets in New Capenna, down 8.87% from $23.90 to $21.78 for its market price, and its average price is $23.54. Overgrown Tomb from Guilds of Ravnica, the shock land is down 11% today, from $11 to $9.80 for its market price, and its average price is $11.49. Sword of Forge and Frontier from Phyrexia all will be won. This mythic is down 12.26% from $8.97 to $7.87 for its market price, and its average price is $9.49. Final Showdown from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. This mythic is down 12.62% from $13.71 to $11.98 for its market price, and its average price is $14.63. Next up is Archdruid's Charm from Murders at Karlov Manor. This rare is down 13.50% from $8.37 to $7.24 for its market price, and its average price is $8.75. The Secret Layer series down 18.64% from $16.63 to $13.53 for its market price, and its average price is $15.25. Exalted Flamer of Zinch from Universes Beyond Warhammer 40k. This card is down 21.75% from $14.94 to $11.69 for its market price, and its average price is $15.18. Pyramids from Arabian Nights. This reserveless card is down 29.23% from $171.93 to $121.68 for its market price, and its average price is $135.89. And our final loser here is Submerge from Nemesis. This uncommon is down 34.70% from $8.07 to $5.27 for its market price, and its average price is $5.49. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Ojertak Deepest Foundation from the Lost Cavern Sixlon. This mythic is up 4.39% from $23.91 to $24.96 for its market price, and its average price is $24.73. And the showcase copy is sitting at $19.83 for its market price, and its average price is $20. And this card is seeing a ton of play in the commander format, in some commanders like Elenda the Deskrows, as well as Mr. House, President and CEO. Next winner on our list is Vaultborn Tyrant, and this is the extended art copy from Outlaws of Thunder Junction The Big Score up 6.05% from $34.52 to $36.61 for its market price, and its average price is $37.75. And 
and the showcase copy is sitting at $47.58 for its market price, and its average price is $54.95. And the raised showcase foil is sitting at $180.02 for its average price, and the regular copy is sitting at $26.39 for its market price, and its average price is $28. And this card is seeing a lot of Pioneer play in 4-color Indomitable Creativity decks, however also see some standard play in Naya Dinosaurs and of course in the most popular format Commander in decks like Pantlaza Sun Favored. And the next winner on our list is Hostile Investigator and this is the showcase copy from Outlaws of Thunder Junction The Big Score. Up 6.81% from $18.06 to $19.29 for its market price and its average price is $34. And the extended art copy is sitting at $11.03 for its market price, and its average price is $20. And the regular copy is sitting at $14.54 for its market price, and its average price is $15.08. And this card is seeing a lot of standard play right now in decks like Golgari Midrange, Orzhov Midrange, as well as Esper Midrange decks, however also see some Pioneer play in Mono Black Discard and Rakdos Vampires. And the next winner on our list is Esper Sentinel from Modern Horizons 2. This rare is up 9.33% from $28.08 to $30.70 for its market price, and its average price is $31.98. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $72.68 for its average price, the showcase copy is sitting at $31.30 for its market price, and its average price is $33.07. And the version on the list is sitting at $36.18 for its market price, and its average price is $37.97. And this card is seeing a ton of modern play right now, and Hammer Time decks as well as Dr. Combo, and it's even being played in the Commander format, and Commanders like Marnie's Calgar and Kalia of the Vast. And the next winner on our list is a Mythic from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Bristly Bill, Spine Sower, and it's up 11.84% from $14.87 to $16.63 for its market price, and its average price is $16.66. The pre-release copy is sitting at $20 for its average price, the extended art copy is sitting at $22.86 for its market price, and its average price is $22.70. Now this card also is seeing a lot of standard play right now in Teamerland combo decks, However, it sees play in the most popular format as well as the commander itself, and in other commanders like the Gitrog, Ravenous Ride, as well as Yuma Proud Protector. Next up on the winners list is Power Fist from Universes Beyond Fallout. This artifact equipment is up 15.19% from $10.27 to $11.83 for its market price, and its average price is $12.21. The Surge Foil version is sitting at $11.46 for its market price, and its average price is $16. And the Extended Art copy is sitting at $10.41 for its market price, and its average price is $19.96. And the Extended Art Surge Foil version is sitting at $13.18 for its market price, and its average price is $18.73. And you can find this card in the Commander Precon from Fallout, Butant Menace. And this card is being played as well in other commanders like the Most Dangerous Gamer and also Felix Five Boots from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Next winner on our list is a rare from Outlaws of Thunder Junction, Caustic Bronco. This card is up 85.40% from $1.37 to $2.54 for its market price, and its average price is $1.62. The pre-release copy is sitting at $1.78 for its average price, and the extended art copy is sitting at $3.31 for its market price, and its average price is $3.22. This card is seeing a lot of standard play right now in decks like Golgari Midrange, Orzhov Midrange, and it's even being played in the Pioneer format Rakdos Midrange decks, modern decks like Rakdos Scam, and even in the vintage format in Lurus Saga decks. And our final winner on our list today is Free Strider Lookout from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. This rare is up 107.27% from $1.10 to $2.28 for its market price, and its average price is $1.23. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $2.44 for its average price, and the extended art copy is sitting at $3.15 for its market price, and its average price is $3.19. Now this card is seeing a lot of standard play in decks of Golgari Midrange, Saltai Midrange, and it's even being played in the Pioneer format in Golgari Midrange decks as well. However, also sees a lot of commander play in decks like Vraska the Silencer and Legolas Master Archer. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Nerd Rage from Universes Beyond Fallout. This foil is up 12.51% from $8.71 to $9.80 for its foil market price, and its average price is $39.94. 
Karen Wanderer from Lorwyn. This foils up 12.96% from $12.50 to $14.12 for its foil market price, and its average price is $17.23. Spelunking from the Lost Cabins of Ixlon. This foils up 13.62% from $7.49 to $8.51 for its foil market price, and its average price is $7.49. Telepathy from Magic 2010. This foils up 13.89% from $8 to $9.10 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8. One with Nothing from Saviors of Kamigawa. This foils up 14.61% from $10.88 to $12.47 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8.72. Beloved Chaplain from Odyssey. This old frame foils up 16.42% from $7.98 to $9.29 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8.59. Bitter Triumph from the Lost Cabins of Ixalan. This foils up 17.46% from $9.91 to $11.64 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.80. Mischievous Quanner from Scourge. This old frame foils up 17.92% from $10.77 to $12.70 for its foil market price, and its average price is $14. Next up is Knight Exemplar from Magic 2011. This foils up 18.27% from $9.47 to $11.20 for its foil market price, and its average price is $6.83. And our final foil winner of the day is Worship from 9th edition. It's up 21% today from $16.52 to $20 for its foil market price, and its average price is $19.93. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you guys could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm, so that way my channel can continue to grow on YouTube. Also, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite mover of the day was, which cards you're most surprised to see on the list, and which cards you actually own that showed up on the list today. I have to read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back on Monday for the regular Market Mover series. However, I'll also be back tomorrow for the week's Winner's Edition, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better weekend. Take care. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.